and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I sometimes get, and that is how to prune uh, these beautiful African violets off Actually, the, when, when they're no longer beautiful, uh, when they get to this point where they're all done, uh, someone had asked recently, well, what do I, and this is a leaf that needs to be pruned out here too, which I do have a video on how to do that. But um, this is going to answer a question, how to prune the flowers once they're done, okay? So apparently the person was just pruning off the very top and she said, but then she's got all these little stems sticking out, which you can see would happen if I took this, if I took this off, this top off, it's, you're going to have that. Now, this one I'm going to leave because it's still pretty, but it's the only one left on the plant during this, uh, for this bloom cycle. Um, however, I do have right in there a little bloom you can see there. So that one will be coming on. So, but... I do want to get rid of these old ones here. Now, one really good reason to get rid of these old ones is so I can make room for the new ones. So not only for the ones that are that are here that are going to be bud that are buds that are going to bloom, but also so the plant can put energy into making new stalks, new flower stalks. If all this is here, it ha it's less likely to uh, bud up and bloom or it'll take a longer to do so. So that's another good reason to get these out right away. Another good reason to get these out, of ri out right away, all these old, old uh, 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 flowers here, is because they do attract uh, pests and diseases. Okay. So just want to get them out of there. And obviously they're ugly to look at, right? And you want, and you better to get them out of there so you can get more blooms, right? So what you want to do when you're doing that, when you are, uh, pruning them out is you want to prune all the way down. So take, follow that stem all the way down and prune it out at the very end here. So you can see here what I've got here is I went all the way down to the very where, where, where it's where it's up started at the base of the plant okay so going to do that again so one thing you can do is take the top part and then follow the top and as you hold it and move it a little bit so you know what you're cutting. Because sometimes you may think, oh, I'm getting it, and you could cut out a leaf instead, which is not ideal. It's not the end of the world with African vines, but it's not ideal, and it could make the plant misshapen as well. So in order to get pruned out what you really want to prune out, so take the top of it and follow it down to the base of the plant and then carefully snip it out. You can also pinch out with your fingers. That's also a possibility. It can be a little more difficult as you're, as you're doing this because uh, what sometimes happens is you're digging around in there to pinch it out as you break leaves. So I prefer uh, to use pruners when I am pruning out flowers, spent flowers, but I will use my fingers when I'm pruning out the foliage foliage and also pruners too. Okay, so and as you're seeing, you want some smaller pruners. I put a link below for this this size. It's a smaller hand pruner for more precision work. Going with this one once again, going back down, going to the base and pruning. I got that one out. Okay, good. Then there's a little bit on the end of this one here. You can see that it's attached to that guy, so I'm pruning that out carefully as well. Sometimes when you're pruning out the, the bad flowers or the done flowers, you may prune out good flowers, which is kind of a bummer. However, what you can do is go ahead and put that those flowers in a flower press. And I do have a series on pressing flowers and I will be adding to that series soon with making some decorative items with the pressed flowers. So that is a possibility if you accidentally cut the flower off. And let's see, another thing you can do sometimes is just gently pull and, and it will come out, but be careful when you do that. You don't wanna to pull too hard on the plant to kind of up, 
pull on the roots and also once again it's pretty easy to do that and it, as you're doing that you pull out a perfectly good flower at the same time I've done that many times so those are some tips for doing this I do see a little bit of a stem in here so I'm going to get that out while I'm working on this it probably was from a removed stem there another one here as well so just some general cleanup as you do remove the flowers and then we have made way for these little ones that are going to be coming in and we have one pretty one and as you can see too when you get rid of those these yicky ones it makes the plant look better overall uh, before when all these were there you didn't quite notice this pretty little bloom but once those were gone then you can really get a good look at that lovely bloom. And that is definitely a beauty. Even though there's only one left, it's a beauty. And there'll be lots more coming on as well. So there you go for how to prune out the flowers on African violets when they're done blooming, of course. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.